What's going on everybody? 618 Sports Cards this evening. Went to the local uh, card shop today. Picked up some hobby boxes. We'll go through that real fast. What we picked up. Picked up some uh, Pro Debut. Maybe we can get something good out of that. Um, what else did we pick up here? I picked up a box of uh, Gypsy Queen. Also picked up a box of Series 2, even though I've opened a whole case of jumbos, uh, the price is right, so I went ahead and got this one, and it came with the, the silver pack. But tonight, we are going to go on, I guess, some junk wax. We have the 89 Donruss uh, wax packs. Uh, figure we'll go on a little hunt. Maybe uh, Griffey Rookie, Randy Johnson, Biggio, Schilling, Sheffield, something like that. Uh, maybe I can catch a good Griffey for, uh, sorry about the got a new table today and to open cards let's just open some packs and it's kind of it's not as sturdy as my other table and we'll sit some of these out here okay there's one stack yeah I figure you know it was the price is right on this as well so why not open a little junk wax boxes, a wax box, and see if uh, we can't find a Griffey. Got some cards I'm going to be sending to PSA, so thought maybe you'd open this one and maybe if we got a... I have not seen the condition of these cards, so I don't know. That don't look good. Okay, that's just a puzzle piece. Uh, for the most part... I mean, that glare is going to piss me off already, but I don't think they're going to be bad cards, so we'll see if we can't get something. I know these cards aren't worth hardly anything. I'm not sure what the, I know there was like an error card or something in these, I'm not sure what. But, we'll see if we can't get, and I don't have any clue if these have been messed with or not. Um, I would think not, but you never know. Alright, yeah, making sure they're all in there. Jeff Hamilton, Hal Morris. Man, that glare. Let's see if I can't fix something real fast. Try to get that glare off the cards. Dale Evans. Wally Joyner MVP. Bill Long. Well, there's the Vigio. Really wanting uh, to try to find that Griffey. I know these were completely overproduced, but Mark Lemke, I remember him.
I'm not sure what the most expensive card. I mean, I'm 100% sure it's not that I didn't know. Um, the Griffey, but I mean, if it's not a Jim Mint 10, then I don't see that there's a whole lot of value. Dropping Fist, Jimmy Key, Kirby Pocket, George Brett. This is actually one of the first wax boxes I've opened. The Griffey. Alright, let's look this card over real fast. We'll check the corners on it. Those look good. I can't tell. It looks like, if you look at the card, yeah, there's, it looks like there's scratches on it. Corners are good, edges are good. Centering, pretty nice, but it does look like there's some something on the card for sure. Of course, it had to be that one. That's right. We'll sit over the side. Maybe we'll get to find another one. I'm sure they're not very rare. I just had some cards I was going to send a PSA and thought I've seen this today for cheap and thought if I could get a Griffey, might as well send it off with them. I think a 10 would be um, Tom Glavin. I'm not sure what a Jim Mint 10 would go for. Probably 80 bucks or so. Maybe, maybe a little less. But for what I paid for the whole box, I mean, it was worth taking a shot. And giving me something to open that I haven't really opened. Cal Ripken. I think that's one of the better ones, I'm not sure. I know there's a Kurt Schilling rookie card, Biggio rookie card, the Griffey, the Randy Johnson. I'd like to get that Randy Johnson too. Send the Griffey and the Johnson off with a stack of other cards that I've got to send off as well. Brown, Terry Clark, Ricky Horton, <laughs> Ricky Horton, Chris Sabo. Yeah, I would have a feeling that that one wouldn't even be worth sending off to grade with those scratches on the front of it. So unless we get, did I go through these? Yeah, that's why I pulled the Griffey. Um, they're just, it just won't even be worth sending off. It's obviously not gonna, I know right out the gate wasn't gonna be a, a gym at 10. Or PSA 10.
I'm excited to kind of get into the uh, the pro debut. To be honest, uh -oh. might have another Griffey in incoming, and hopefully it's in better shape. Like I said, I'd like to get one where I th that I think would be close to a 10. Just like I said, this was a cheap, cheap box I picked up. And I just figured it'd be fun for a Saturday night to rip open. Should be coming up. Yeah. Now let's see if this one's any better. Corners are good. Still got some scratches on it. Edges are good, corners are good. One of my favorite players of all time. There's just some, like, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There's definitely scratches on this, just this card. None of the other cards have anything on them, just a Griffey. Hmm. Now knowing that they're all gonna be scratched, if they're all gonna be scratched like that, uh, I just, Hall of Famer, Hall of Famer. Uh, I'd rather just find, now I'm just kind of, maybe you can get a Randy Johnson or a Schilling now. Or maybe another Griffey that's not scratched up. I mean, I don't know how much it'd go for ungraded. I wouldn't think very much, maybe five, ten bucks. If that. Which if they went for five bucks, Warren Spawn there. Good Olsen rookie. If I mean, if they were five bucks a piece and I could get that out of them, you know, that would pay for what I paid for the box. But, I just don't know why it's not on any other card. I would, I don't know. Alan Davis. So I kind of seen what order they went in. So hope I'm thinking. There's the shilling. Well, so far I've found three of the five that I was kind of going hunt for, and I know that they're probably in ten a box. I don't. I don't, I don't have. I don't know. Like I said, this is the first. Uh, $89 I've opened. Just get a raga. Rob Dibble. I don't know what I'll get this video, you know, uploaded after I get done recording and everything, and then tomorrow I'll have another one. I think I'm gonna do the pro debut next, either pro debut or Gypsy Queen. Alan Trammell, Pat Ferry, Bruce Suter, Bob, is that Bob Renly, Dickie Pond. Hopefully one day I'll put these up in my, just basically my personal collection. But maybe one day when my kids are grown and my age, you know, who knows? Maybe these cards make a kind of a comeback and maybe might be worth something. Who knows? 30 years from now or, or whatever.
like to think that maybe some of these junk wax box from the junk era of cards, maybe uh, my kids will enjoy them. I'm enjoying opening them. So maybe it's something, you know, I can pass on. That'd be nice. I've got two girls, so don't have the the baseball player boy. I got the uh, softball playing girls, Bobby Bo. Tony Gwynn, Keith Hernandez. At least these don't have gum in them. I had, an, I think, an 88 top CeeLo box I opened up when I first started collecting again, thinking that the uh, the Tom Glavin rookie card was something to try to hunt down. And the gum just was, oh. On to the next stamp. Hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday evening. As I am, spent the day with the family and shopping and whatnot. Kid Cam and Eddie. See that I don't have I'm not sure I know he had I think he had a the card shop owner I think he had a uh, a box of these sitting out for I think a dollar a pack, 50 cents a pack, something like that. Yeah, same, same shit. Still uh, have not got the Randy Johnson yet, so let's hope for Randy Johnson. Now my focus is shifted to Randy Johnson or a Nolan Ryan. There's a Joe Carter, Dave Parker, Brett Saberhagen, Kirk Gibson. There's the Nolan Ryan. Yeah, they just produce the crap out of these cards. And they're all repetitive. I can tell what's coming up. I'd like to know for sure, like, just a rough estimate of how many uh, of these they actually produce. out of curiosity. There's the Sheffield rookie. So, well, hold on here. I don't think that Biggio is a rookie card. Yeah, maybe it was, I'm not sure. All right, 
Randy Johnson. Let's get let's see if we can't find the Randy Johnson. And then that this wax box will be be complete from the the big five or whatever that I was just looking for. Just to kind of pass time. McGuire, I like that one. Anything Big Mac I like. At least they, you know, at the end of the day, at least the cards are in in good shape and I'll have a puzzle to put together. But if anything, don't get anything at all. It's fun just opening cards. Gary Gaetti. And Dale Murphy. Last little stack here and then we'll be done. I'm trying to go faster in these videos, but it always seems like I'm over the 20 minute mark. Start picking up the pace a little bit. Hope that Randy Johnson comes up. That would be the only one that I actually just kind of seen this at the at my LCS and just thought, well, let's uh, let's see if we can't get a couple Griffies, you know, maybe. Uh, You know, who knew, who knows, maybe PSA 10, I was thinking. I'm not sure exactly what that card would go for. Like I said earlier, I think probably like 80, 80 bucks or so, maybe less. Maybe a little bit more, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't really look at the prices. I just know that Griffey is kinda Don Mattingly. That's probably a PSA 10 would be, which these, these cars are in really, really good shape. I think a PSA 10 would be like 15 bucks maybe. 10 bucks. That one, Cal Ripken the same, maybe maybe seven to 10 bucks PSA 10, which isn't even worth really getting it graded. But if I got a crap ton of cards I was gonna send off, I thought maybe at least the Griffies. Or the Randy Johnson, maybe get twenty bucks out of it. If it, but it's got if it's not a PSA ten, then you know I'm not really. It's not really doing me any good. Just put it in the the PC, which is where they're probably all gonna just end up going up in a box up in the closet. I'll keep the Griffies, of course, because I I do. I do collect the Griffies. He's, like I said, one of my favorite players growing up. I'd have to say Griffey was probably the most influential player that I, uh, for me, as growing up, always wanted to watch, you know, any game I could that had Griffey playing. Come on, Randy Johnson. Come on, let's get a keep a short video here. Yeah, it's already way too long.
Yeah, and I've noticed just from opening a bunch of cards here lately, everything seems to follow. It's like the top series too. Anything out of the jumbo that I that I got, if Eloy Jimenez was the back card, there was a Pete Alonso right before it. And every single every one I got. Let's see Ryan again. All right, last pack. Will the Randy Johnson be in here? I don't see why he would be. All these cards are pretty much another Sheffield. And Bob Forsh. All right, well. That is all for right now. Um, so until next time, everybody be good. And um, I said, like I said, I'm thinking I'll do the uh, pro debut next or Gypsy Queen. Haven't really decided yet. Or I might just do the, I don't know what I'm going to do. Either way, thanks guys for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit the like button. Um, so until next time, you guys have a good one.